there are three states of matter solids liquids and gases it's easy to study the properties of solids and liquids but when it comes to gases it's a challenge it's a challenge to study the properties of gases one important property is density it's not very easy to calculate or measure the density of a gas so that is why its density is calculated by comparing it with some other gas so to calculate the density we compare it with some other gas and hence we find the relative vapor density of a gas so when the density is compared to some other gas we calculate the relative vapor density for any gas that is abbreviated as rel for relative and vd for vapor density now let's see how we calculate the relative vapor density for any gas this is done by taking the mass of volume v of a particular gas and dividing it by mass of volume v of hydrogen gas so the mass of any particular gas is compared to the lightest gas which is hydrogen so the same volumes of the two gases are taken and the mass of volume v of the gas the particular gas is divided by mass of volume v of hydrogen gas let's see what we get so we get that mass of one molecule of a gas divided by mass of one molecule of hydrogen gas because avogadro's law states that equal volumes of all gases under same conditions of temperature and pressure contain equal number of molecules so when we are talking of the same volume volume v they contain the same number of molecules so let's take one molecule for both so we get mass of one molecule of the gas divided by mass of one molecule of hydrogen gas we know hydrogen molecule is made of two atoms that is h2 so we get the relative vapor density equal to mass of one molecule of the gas divided by mass of two atoms of hydrogen each molecule of hydrogen is made of two atoms so we divide it by mass of two atoms of hydrogen now we can also write this as mass of one molecule of the particular gas divided by two times the mass of one atom of hydrogen so when we take this two on the other side we get two into relative vapor density equal to mass of one molecule of the gas divided by mass of one atom of hydrogen so you see that the relative vapor density is the mass of one molecule of the particular gas that we are talking of divided by mass of one atom of hydrogen if you remember the mass of one atom of hydrogen is equal to 1/12th times the mass of one atom of carbon 12 this is because the mass of one atom of carbon 12 is 12 when we take 1/12th its mass we get 1 by 12 of 12 which is 1 and we know that the mass of one atom of hydrogen is also one if you are calculating in atomic mass unit this is the units for both that is atomic mass unit so the mass of one atom of hydrogen is equal to 1/12th the mass of one atom of carbon 12 so for the same equation that is mass of one molecule of the gas divided by mass of one atom of hydrogen we can replace the denominator by 1/12 the mass of one atom of carbon 12 because all the time we take carbon 12 as the reference so we substitute the mass of one atom of hydrogen by 1/12 the mass of one atom of carbon 12 are you reminded of anything by this what is the relative molecular mass the relative molecular mass of any substance is the mass of one molecule divided by 1/12 the mass of one atom of carbon 12 this is what we got here we got two times the relative vapor density equal to mass of one molecule of the particular gas divided by 1/12 the mass of one carbon 12 atom so when we look at this we get the relative molecular mass of the gas so twice the relative vapor density is equal to the relative molecular mass of the gas so this is an important relation that is two times the relative vapor density is equal to the relative 
molecular mass of any gas and so from this we get the relative vapor density of any gas is equal to the relative molecular mass of the gas divided by 2. So to calculate the vapor density of the gas becomes easier. We know we can simply calculate the relative molecular mass of any gas. When we divide it by 2, we get the relative vapor density of any gas.